a lot of people have asked me about uh, uh my town at the moment, my hometown, and my place where I live, uh, and ask me how my town's doing. So uh, I take it's a reference to what happened. Uh, wasn't it two weeks ago now? Uh, with the car been set on fire by some tugs. Uh, so basically, I'm going to try and explain to the best of my ability what I'm trying to explain because I don't want to get into any big details or big discussions about it. Uh, so basically, some cuts thought they could take the place really, to be honest. Uh, control or really, we're terrorized people, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So basically, there was a big um, poster who used to be a billionaire, absolute billionaire, Sean Quinn, and this fellow used to walk for him and still does walk for him and they set his car on fire with the children. You know the way a car would be packed in the driveway, the children's bedroom was just above it, so... And the gas tank exploded and everything, so they put children's life in danger and they put older people's lives in danger because oh, there's a lot of older people living around my village. And I suppose it was, they were dead lucky nobody was killed or injured. And I'll just say on that note, that uh, as I said many times before, our people will do whatever it takes to keep our young people and our old people safe. Uh, if the state doesn't do anything, we will do all in our power to protect our people. And that's the way it. Our community has grown so big since the 1960s. And we've never been in such trouble like this. Because we are a peaceful, quiet community that just walks and does a job for its community, does its job for its country. We have litter schemes, which people go out and pick up litter. We have, uh, we do have uh, discipline schemes, uh, which is, we do take criminals and put them out in the roads and we do watch over them. That's basically what we do, but we're not be, we, we can just, anybody causes really trouble around the village, we just, if they, if they found out, we just, it's not really state one, but we just kicked them out in the world and we forced them to do it. Because uh, it's just punishment. And, and also, you're doing the town a big favour. And we do have community watch lords. We do have community patrols, uh, which is here. We do spend a lot of money on community watch. We do, we really want to keep our town safe. I'm just saying this because loads of people ask me about this. And loads of people ask me different questions. But I'm just trying to answer everything I can. I have a big piece of paper here and all the questions. So basically, we I do it. I do community watch lot um schemes, and I do this, that, and the other. I do the litter patrols too. Uh, no, but it's just to keep our, us safe and to keep our older people safe and everybody safe. It makes common sense, because the Gaudi can the Gaudi can only do so much. That it's up to the community to do the rest. Like we have three hundred and sixty cameras around our villages. In our village, and sorry, yeah, one of our villages. Uh, that's because we spent money on it. We literally took it out of our own back pocket and said, we're going to keep our citizens safe. We're going to keep our people that have been living here for generations. For generations. We're going to keep them safe. And this is before the car was set on fire. And we do have video footage of them. And we know, we, the, I think the PSNI knows and the guards know who done it. And I think we actually know ourselves who done it. But we're not going to say. But I'm only saying if they come back here, they'll be going out as quick as they come in. The, so um because I'm very, very upset. I do I like the way they really don't care for people's safety. Like they wind the fire again over the, the over the border. But they didn't stick around to hear the rat of people. Because the younger people, the younger people like me, I would have tore into them. As simple as that, I would have tore into them. It's not even a joke. I would have tore into the kid they whisked the older people's life. They whisk to put two children's lives in danger. That is literally to me, nearly death penalty, to be honest with you. That's nearly what I would have done. And I hope these people be brought to justice, but as I said, they, we we have an idea who done it. And we are watching them. They might be across the border, but we have eyes across the border. We were a border town. And also, uh, loads of people ask me about Brexit in the town, because we are only one town away from the border. And... From the border, there's five going up to Marlon, and there's five crossings you have to cross into Northern Ireland. I will talk about that later on. There's lots of people that treated me about that, and I will get to that soon. But I'm just saying, our town is a rural Irish town. They build ourselves up since the World War Two. We build ourselves up. We build a big infrastructure, 
We built a huge bypass that leaks to Northern Ireland. We have a uh, motorway that leaks really basically to every part. You, you can jump on the motorway anywhere in Bullitsbridge to go to anywhere, up north or down south. Um, we built so many better roads since the 1960s. We have a huge, huge litter program. We have a huge community watch a lot program. We have a good meta health program we're going to bring in sooner or later. Uh, which means really we're just trying to take a sample from Finland because the Irish government does not give an absolute fuck and it's up to local authorities like us to uh, show up the government basically because I, I really don't really have much time for some of the government and they don't have time for me that's mainly the big reason why but anyway thank you for watching just what the show said that time because those of you have asked me how's the town doing since this and they've been asking me different questions about it I could go on for hours about it to be honest with you. but uh that's basically the reasons why. So uh, yeah, take a watch and subscribe and bye.